Tonight we're following developing news in Hampton where police are still working to figure out who opened fire at a 4th of July party. One man died. Four others were hurt early this morning on Patterson Avenue off North Armistead, not far from downtown. Ten on your side's Joe Fisher talked with the family of a man who was killed. And Joe, this is really hard news for everyone on a holiday. Tom, absolutely. Tonight, it is unclear what prompted the gunfire, but what is clear is that five different families are dealing with a whole lot of stress. None more than 21-year-old Devin Reed's family, the man who died. Tonight, police say they need the public's help as they try to make an arrest. A young man is dead and four others are recovering after a holiday get together at this home on Patterson Avenue in Hampton. Was, I thought at first it was fireworks. But then I heard all this screaming. Officers say Devin Reed didn't even make it to the hospital. He ain't bothering nobody. He's a good guy. The 21 year old's grandfather, Edmund Benjamin, is heartbroken, especially for the boy's mother, with this message for the person who pulled the trigger. Give yourself up, because uh, eventually you're going to be caught. The shooting happened around midnight, just feet from this place of worship. Church members say the damage illustrates a shift that's taken place in the community. We see young men, you know, they're impressed with weapons. We see young men that are impressed with guns. And, um, and out of that place, sadly enough, some family today is grieving because their son did not come in last night. Police say they found Reed and two other men shot outside the home. Two other people injured showed up to the hospital, including Nicole Dandridge's 19-year-old daughter who got shot in the ankle. She can't even walk. I don't even want my child's going to walk again. I don't know when she's going to walk again. Police have not yet released a motive. Benjamin says there was a fight earlier in the evening and some of the people who left returned with guns. They came back in the car with I don't know how many guys. Mm -hmm. Started shooting. Another life taken by gun violence as neighbors wonder what it'll take to stop it for good. And we need to be more prayerful because our communities are going down a drain. Uh, it's, it's not good. And anyone with information is being asked to call the crime line tonight. That number is 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. Remember, you can always remain anonymous and could be eligible for a cash reward. Tonight, police in Hampton say they have no suspect information. Tom. Joe Fisher, thank you. Reporting live from our newsroom.